He was cool, stylish, and an icon of the 70s. Bjorn Borg won 11 Grand Slam titles, reached world number one, and became the sporting hero of a generation. With his model good looks and calm approach to the game, the smooth Swede created a buzz on and off the court. He was the king and Wimbledon was his castle. Bjorn Borg reigned over this court for five consecutive years. He retired at the age of 26 and it took him almost 20 years before he returned to the All England Club. But now he's a regular guest and he'll be sitting on centre court this year watching the action unfold. I travelled to Stockholm for a rare chance to meet with a legend in his home country. Bjorn was upbeat, about to celebrate his 60th birthday and finds himself back in the game, this time as a tennis parent to his 13-year-old son. So Bjorn, you're a tennis dad now. I don't see you as a typical tennis parent. Are you screaming at the back? Move your feet. <laughs> I can't exactly. imagine Bjorn Borg doing that. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Fast, no, <laughs> but uh, I'm a tennis dad, and uh, uh, we have a son, Leo. He just turned 13 years old, and he's playing. He's playing two, three hours every single day after school. But he's completely nuts about tennis. Mm -hmm. He has a big heart for tennis. Mm -hmm. He likes to play, he likes to compete, he likes to travel. You know, I like to stay home. You know, I'm getting a little bit older. And I'm, I'm, you know, we've been traveling all over the world, not only one time, but a hundred times. So, but that's me as a person. But in Sweden, we travel a lot and uh, he's, he's doing pretty good, actually. The, the mo most important thing is that he enjoys tennis and he likes to play. He's winning, he's losing. But you can see all this when we're traveling uh, around Sweden, you see all this crazy parents. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, even during our time, it was people or parents who was a little bit crazy in one way. But today it's unbelievable. Uh, it's shocking. And uh, I think that's because tennis is a sport with a lot of money involved. And uh, you can see some, sometimes the kids doesn't want to play. It's like the parents push them in to do something that they don't want to do. Bjorn lives outside of Stockholm and drives his son to school every day. He still regularly plays tennis and is actively involved in the clothing line that bears his name. To the Bjorn Borg office, I probably go maybe three times a week because I'm very interested to see what they do with the, with the design and uh, I trying uh, the, the clothing, uh, you know, if it fits good regarding, you know, how it's going to work on the tennis court. Well, I know you're in the junior circuit a little bit with your son, but have you ever thought about going back coaching on the tour? When it comes to coaching, uh, I don't want to coach anyone. Uh, because the thing is that if you start to coach, then you have to go and travel around. You do the same thing as you did for so many years. I mean, as a, as a tennis player. So then I, w I would go nuts to sit, <laughs> to sit in the stands and watch the guys play. And I was tell myself what the hell I'm doing here, you know, <laughs> when I can do other things or I can be home. Yeah. So that will never, ever happen. Do you follow the tennis at all, the circuit, yes. much of the circuit at all? So how do you see the state of men's tennis right at the moment? I just love to watch these guys play today. I mean, you have Federer or Djokovic or Nadal or, or Mare or all the other guys. When they get together on the court and they have the rivalries and the great tennis they play, it's, it's you know, I, I've been watching every single match. I follow the tennis 110%. I love the way they play. And they are such a great tennis player, such a great athlete. So, and that's good for tennis. That's, tennis needs that. I think if, if we start with Federer, I mean, he's 34 years old. And, uh, you know, what he did for tennis, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, and what he's been winning. and. Uh, I mean, up to this point, you know, the greatest player ever played the game. That's Jok a big statement, Bjorn, yeah, from you. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from you. Yeah, but that's, uh, uh, that's my opinion. Djokovic, he has a chance to go all the way to uh, what Federer has been doing, or maybe pass him. You never know. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what's going to happen this year. I think he has a chance to win the Grand Slam this year. Uh, Fortunately, last year he was very close to do it, but still he has still have a, uh, another chance to win the Grand Slam. So, 
you know, and, and you know that that's the, the most difficult thing you can do in tennis. It's almost impossible. And Wimbledon. I mean, is Federer got another chance? He, he was very close that last last year mm. twice. I think he's going to be ready for Wimbledon. He's going to play a grass court tournament before practice, and that's kind of his game. And I know that's one still is one of his goals to equal uh, Sampras' record at Wimbledon. I mean, that goal he had for for the last three, four years now. He wants, if it's possible, to win the gold medal at, at, at Rio. That's his biggest two goals this year. I'm sure he wants to be fit, as fit as he can be. But he has, he's still playing unbelievable tennis. He can win Wimbledon because he's always playing well there. I mean, he feels like home on that court. And mm -hmm. It's going to be very interesting to see. And then uh, another thing is going to be interesting to see if he's going to play next year, Roger. Maybe this is, might be his last year. Who knows?